Tunya, can you tell me how to build a light body please? When that is matured, how can I then go on to build a Merkaba? Thanks in advance. Dear questioner, this is Tunya speaking. Thank you so much for your question. I think it's great that you're clearly interested in developing spiritually and that you are already on a level where you are asking advanced questions. I think that's awesome and I think you are doing great. First of all, I think it's more accurate to talk about purifying or clearing your light body as opposed to building up your light body. Every earthling already has a light body, but in most people it's simply not cleared or purified yet. Similarly, everyone already has a Merkiba, hence I prefer talking about activating your Merkiba. When it comes to straightforward spiritual pursuits, your conscious mind can do them just fine. For example, if you decide to start a gratitude journal, then you can just consciously think, what am I grateful for today? And then write that down. However, it is very hard for your conscious mind to accomplish advanced spiritual pursuits, such as purifying your light body or activating your Merkiba. Some techniques do exist, such as the dance of Sufi whirling dervishes, but personally I would not recommend trying to use your conscious mind to purify your light body or activate your Merkiba. What I would recommend instead is using your conscious mind to create conditions in which your soul can purify your light body for you and activate your Merkiba for you. Your soul can do that very easily, it just needs you to create the right conditions for it. Once you create the right conditions, your soul will accomplish those things automatically. If you want, you can nudge this process along by consciously setting the intention that you want to purify your light body and activate your Merkiba. For this, it suffices to say, I am activating my light body and I am activating my Merkiba. You can also use your own preferred words. So, how do you create the conditions in which your soul can purify your light body and activate your Merkiba? Well, first you can try just asking your soul directly. To do this, you can think or say, My soul, how should I purify my light body? Or my soul, what should I do today? Only answers that come immediately are from your soul. If you're able to get answers this way, it can be great to ask this question every morning. If you're not yet able to get answers this way, you can think or say, My heart, what should I do today? If that doesn't work either, you can follow your intuition or your joy. Just be careful that you do not confuse ego with intuition, joy. If that also doesn't work, you can just work on general spiritual development, because that road will automatically take you towards a place where your soul can purify your light body and activate your Merkiba. Anyone who is sufficiently spiritually advanced will automatically have those things, even if they never consciously strove for a purified light body and activated Merkiba. In general, we recommend forms of spirituality that remove layers, concepts and stories instead of forms of spirituality that add layers, concepts and stories. Once you are clear and empty enough, your light body and Merkiba will automatically activate. You don't need to add anything to yourself for that, you are already whole and good enough. You only need to gently let go of things that no longer serve you. Studying the right information is important, but reading should not be the majority of your practice. A viable path can be devoting yourself to preferably God. Alternatively, you can devote yourself to a being or master who is with God. Yoga is a possible path. Doing good work is another possible path. Another viable path is, notice suffering in yourself, address your suffering, and repeat this for years until the vast majority of your suffering has been healed. Broadly speaking, there are two major paths towards addressing your suffering. One is realizing the illusory nature of suffering. This is explained very well in the book A Course in Miracles, and YouTuber Aaron Opke summarizes that book very well. Of course, a number of other great books and great masters have talked about this approach as well. The other major path towards addressing your suffering is the path of conscious awareness. Whenever you feel pain or suffering or so-called negative emotions, try not to suppress or judge it, but try instead to just perceive it. Tantra can help teach this mindset. A great tool for releasing judgment towards so-called negative emotions can be to think, for example, I accept that I am currently feeling anger. If that doesn't feel genuine, you can go up one level and think I accept that I am feeling resistance to accepting my anger. Whatever you are feeling, you are healing 
so long as you don't suppress or judge what you're feeling. If emotions seem stuck, you can literally think, I invite in my emotions about, for example, my childhood. Your conscious mind may very well try to convince you that you will die or become extremely unwell if you face your worst pain head on this way, but while it can be very painful, you will actually get over it much quicker than you think you will. Many great people have at one time or another, faced their worst pains or worst fears. It tends to create a lot more space and peace of mind once you have done that. I hope this helps. I'm choosing to not become too specific in prescribing techniques because I think that a part of empowering people is to invite them to connect to their own soul or heart or intuition and to then have them follow that. Besides, your own soul can advise you better than I ever could. I love you very much. You are doing great. We are cheering you on. With love. Tunya.